I'm really pleased with where I am right now. Uh, you know, I took a little bit of time off in 2009, and I'm uh, kind of starting to really hit my stride, and I uh, feel like I'm in the best shape of my life, or at least getting in the best shape of my life. And uh, I'm looking forward to just continuing this momentum forward into the trials. The Olympic trials in Omaha is a very overwhelming environment. And uh, I think coming back this time, I'll have a better understanding uh, and a better sense of how to control those emotions, control the environment, block out the non-essentials, and uh, just focus on swimming fast. You kind of got to um, block out the non-essentials and uh, stay really focused on swimming fast because uh, it's such a big show that you can kind of get distracted. You got to kind of... Um, be mentally tough enough not to get too amped up for each session, you know, to, to kind of control your emotions in semifinals, control your emotions in prelims, and then, you know, if you have a great swim in finals, understand that there's, um, or a bad swim in finals, understand that there's another day, and you got to keep fighting. So, I'd say the mental aspect of controlling the meet is uh, critically important. In swimming, we, we don't often get the chance to swim for 14, 16,000 people. Uh, or however many it's going to be, and that kind of energy uh, brings out the absolute best performances, and that's what I'm so excited about. I'm so excited of, about uh, uh, going faster than I've ever gone in my life and uh, seeing uh, how good the result's going to be. I think just staying focused. You know, I, I try to come in every day with a sense of urgency, uh, and uh, but sometimes it's easy to forget, it's easy to cut corners, it's easy to take a turn off or uh, have an underwater dolphin kick that's less uh, potent than it needs to be. And I think uh, carrying a sense of urgency through every element of practice 